All right, we're now being joined on the program by the general manager of the Lagos State Building Control Agency, Mr. Lekon Shodende. Mr. Shodende is a civil engineer. It's great to have you on the program, News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much. All right, uh, it's going to be a month-long uh, exercise um, from what we saw there, starting from the Lagos Island, if I believe it's yeah. also going to spread to other parts of the, uh, of the state. But what's the game plan, actually? Well, thank you very much. Um, Game, game plan is that we want to prevent the advent of buildings collapsing, you know, un, you know, unmanaged. Before now, most of the buildings that have collapsed in recent times have actually been identified. And it takes a process of informing the owner that this building is structurally defective, do the needful, get it removed, do a necessary test on the building to check the stability or the integrity of the structural members of the building. But over time, government waiting for the response of the owners or developers has really caused a lot of the collapses happening. So we are now being proactive and we intend to render service. When we identify a building, we'll give you enough statutory notices that this building is distressed. We suspect, it is a suspicion, that this building is not structurally stable. Bring up tests that will verify to government that this building can stand on its own. But if it doesn't, if we don't get a test on time, We've waited several months and people have not been coming forward. So we now took it, okay, let's be proactive. Let's help them with the removal of the structure so that at least we're sure that the building will come down on their own and start causing, you know, loss of lives and damages to other surrounding structures. So we're only just being proactive to ensure that we, you know, we maintain lives of citizens. Okay, but before now, has this exercise been um, something that the, the Lagos State Government has been um, doing? I mean, because it's of recent... Yeah, having... before now, we've been doing them in bits and pieces, trying to encourage people to do what they have to do. Government is not in business of demolishing people's houses or buildings, illegal or distressed. But we'll always advise you, this is the status, get rid of the building by yourself. But this methodology has not been working. Um. People are not being sincere and they don't do what they have to do. Okay. So government is not taking the bull by the horn. Once we advise you and the time elapses and you're not forthcoming, we'll seek necessary approval from His Excellency and we'll just move in and help you remove the building. All right, what will happen to the affected residents you know, when these uh, de demolitions are, are, are done? Well, residents are always advised to seek for alternative residents because it is their lives that is most germane and important to government. We don't want to lose any life. So before we start demolishing, we'll have served you notices up to the level of saying, giving you a quick notice to leave the building. We live on a large come This building is back for demolition. Please get out. And after the demolition, what happens next to those buildings? No, I mean, to the affected the, residents? You mean the owner of the residence? The, the owner of the residence. Yeah, the they, owner, they have plans no, they, to they, get the, the buildings land, government is not, We're not doing this to take over your land. The land still belongs to the owner of the land. But we, we, you have to just pay back go to government the cost of demolition, which we will communicate to you in writing, that we have spent X amount to help you with this removal. And we're even going to cut away all the rubbles. So you have a clean, plain line. So you have a time of maybe 90, 90 days, legally speaking, because the law allows us 90 days to give you, you know, like a moratorium to pay back to government mm. the cost of removal. Uh, if quick, you don't pay 90 days. Yeah, okay. So very quickly, one last one. I mean, Lagos Island uh, is the starting point, I yeah. believe. What other parts of the state are, are going oh, to be we have, we have areas in Sari, Gomu, in our local government, Apala, Egome LCDA. We have in Amuwa, Dauphin, we have in Ojo, we have, all of, even we have in, you know, in, uh, on the mainland in Suleri. So we have them scattered all over the place. We have in Ibutemeta, we did an exercise, in, we actually started in Ibutemeta, 53 freemen. That was where we started, but that was just a one-off. But we are going to be going around the state, but we have more of them in, on, the, on the island. So the first 13 we're doing now is actually on the island. Okay. So we are going to about 57 events for the first phase. Okay, that's so the that's, first phase. Yeah, that's I, the first I was going to ask you how many houses in, in no, total? 57 in the first phase. Okay. But 13 starting today. So as funds are released, we'll be graduating like that mm. until we you know, get to all the identified you know, defective mm. buildings. Uh, can you really confidently say, I mean, from, from your experience from, uh, as a civil engineer, um, looking at most of the structures that we have in, in Lagos, can you confidently say that, you know, apart from these ones that are being demolished, What's the, uh, in totality, do we really have solid structures? In totality? Yeah. Uh, well, using the word totality is putting everything together. Okay. When we say statistically, we can use... Statistically, no, okay. I'll say, yeah, half and half, half and half, half and half, we have structurally stable, you know, structures. You might see some buildings could look quite dilapidated, but when you do more engineering tests on the structure, you find that, yes, 
the structural members are actually very still, you know, sound, but it's just the superficial elements, the walls, and maybe the plaster and the paintings that needs to be touched mm -hmm. up and just rehabilitated. But once a building is structurally defective, that means the structural members, the beams, the slabs, the columns, and the foundation is gone. There is no, well, it's ne next in, mm. ne impossible. So very to quickly, well, give us an estimate of the cost you know, of this uh, demolition exercise to the state government. Well, it's, it's, Any a, idea? It's, a, uh, it's a couple of millions, but I can't be too exact now because when we're doing phases, I can't give you okay. a total. But it's going to be in various phases, and we've not put everything you know, in a box yet. So we can't wait until we have everything in a box. So as we're getting the funds, we're going to be attacking it in those mini, you know, between those baby steps as we go by. Mr. Lekos Shudain, the General Manager of the Lagos State Building Control Agency, many thanks for joining us on the Thank program. Thank you very much for inviting me. appreciate your thoughts. Thank you.